Hello, YouTubers, and that means that, yes, it is time for the Boomer Sooner News Update. Today, for football, we have defensive end, the uh, defensive end, David King, has been moved to defensive tackle. And uh, a lot of people think now that Tujuke Nadulia will play defensive end. This is because the... Native Oklahoman from Muskogee, Stacy McGee, the original defensive tackle. He has also been suspended, this one, by the university for breaking university team, for breaking university policies, not necessarily team policies. So this came down from a university uh, standpoint. Uh, running back Roy Finch can see time in the slot. At wide with the wide receivers, with the, all the suspensions and all the young players at wide receiver, they're going to need another guy. And Roy has taken a couple of those snaps in practice. And finally, football wise, Sports Illustrated has selected Landry Jones, the OU starting quarterback, to be the cover boy for regional issues in college football. Sports Illustrated Edition. The men's basketball news. In 2017, the Nike teams will come together to support the birthday of the birthman of Nike with a Nike Select uh, tournament. This tournament will include the University of Oklahoma, the University of North Carolina, Duke, University of Connecticut, rival Texas, and others. This, according to Andy Katz, who is like uh, the Joe Shad of uh, college basketball. Saying with Sooner Men's Hoops, next Saturday, the 24th and 25th that weekend, the Sooner Basketball Program will have their annual OU Men's Reunion Banquet on Friday, and the game itself will be on Saturday. There is a $50 uh, ticket price for the banquet on Friday night. Yet, however, the alumni game itself is free. On the women's side, Cherry Cole and the women just got are getting back from Australia today uh, after going la back to going down under the last week. They went undefeated with Aaron Ellenberg, the sophomore, leading. The way in scoring in two of the three games, she scored 30 points against Maitland and then another 17 against Townsville, respectively. And finally, last night in OU women's soccer, the, the new OU women's soccer coach got his first official win over a former Big 12 rival, Nebraska, in a 2-1 win. Their next uh, opponent will be LSU. Bangling Tigers, they will come in on Monday. This has been Harry James Taylor with the Sooner News Update. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.